Hi, I'm Wayne Scrabble with Lone Wolf Hot Rods. When you finish a section of braided AN hose, aircraft hose, how do you know if the, the, the work you've done is sound? How do you know if the hose is going to leak? What's especially bad is you, you complete the hose, and string it in through the car, and you might have six, eight, ten feet or more of line that's all nicely clamped in, in the car, and put fuel or oil or whatever into the line, introduce it into the line, and the fitting leaks. Well, there's a way to resolve that, and I'll show you how it's done. It's inexpensive, it's easy, and you could do it at home. I use an Earl's part number D016ERL test kit. What it consists of is an AN hose end fitting plug in every size of line you'll ever encounter, along with a corresponding plug modified with a common Schrader valve. Basically, the kit allows you to plug one end of the line and to introduce compressed air into the other end of the line. And you'll see here I've just got a couple of uh, AM lines here, remove the covering on them. Uh, the plugs are right here are, are number 10 and number 8. And we'll use them in the test procedure that's going to follow. Before I begin to test the hose, I lightly coat the male end of the cone fitting with a little bit of assembly lube, just, just the cone end, both fittings, turn them into the hose, then you can tighten it with a set of AN wrenches, it doesn't have to be too tight. ready to air it up. Don't need a lot of pressure. I typically use twice the operating pressure that I anticipate. This is fuel line, so uh, probably don't need much more than 20 pounds. Twenty six pounds should be sufficient. Now I typically just uh, hold, test the hose in a bucket of water. Um, so it works very well. Just bring out your bucket of water, put the hose in the water, and test for leaks. When you have it in the water, it's a good idea just to test the, tap the hose lightly to dislodge any bubbles. Air that's trapped, uh, trapped in the fittings or whatever. As you can see, nothing here, but I'll just leave it for a second. This hose end isn't leaking. Wipe the end clean, test the other end. And again, tap it, dislodge any bubbles, and watch for escaping air. No bubbles, no leaks. But there's a big consideration when you're working with any kind of swivel hose end. And that is, I don't know if you can see it here, but that's right there and on the swivel itself. A lot of times when you assemble a hose, the fittings have been sitting on a shelf for some time usually, and the, the O-ring that's inside can, can dry out a little bit. And you'll get a leak right there or right on the edge. But that's usually cured, that's always cured, when it has fluid running through it. But when you're doing the test, what I do is I just use a little bit of WD-40 on just around the edges and on the, uh, the connection, wipe it off, done. What we have here is a hose that holds 26 PSI and it's not leaking and we're happy. I'm sure you will be too. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Lone Wolf Hot Rods. Please subscribe.